Hi, welcome back to Cadible. Today we will do a very simple exercise of uh, short class or uh, empty class. First of all, we will model it in SolidWorks 2020 and then we will render it in Keyshot 9. I have attached all files for practice. Let's start the tutorial. Uh, just go to new and uh, select part and press ok and now we are in solidworks interface uh, just change the background to plain white and now i'll check my units to mmgs which are already selected uh, just go to top plane and we'll make a center rectangle of uh, 65 by 65 i have already uh, made this drawing uh, 65 by 65 mm and then uh, I'll make uh, uh, four equal fillets of uh, 15 mm just select the whole rectangle and just change it to 50 mm press ok and press ex uh, ok and exit uh, now uh, I'll go to extrude I'll go to features tab and uh, We'll make an extrusion of uh, uh, let's say 100 mm just make it reverse and i'll make extrusion of 100 mm with a draft angle of uh, 3 degree remember we are making uh, a glass and select uh, draft outward and uh, press ok uh, now i'll make a shell and uh, just select shell and select the uh, top face of this glass and uh, show preview uh, this is uh, 4 mm from uh, each side uh, I'll use a multi thickness option here and uh, I need uh, 10 mm thickness from the back side so it's very important feature in SOLIDWORKS uh, multi thickness shell and now press OK uh, now I'll use uh, another important command that is a, a dome command just go to uh, insert and go to features tab and uh, go to dome and we'll make a dome of uh, let's say uh, 2 mm and uh, press ok and now I'll make a fillet of uh, uh, let's say 5 mm on the, on the back side uh, of this glass just change it to 5 and uh, press ok I need another flit of uh, uh, and uh, uh, that flit will be face flit and uh, just select face flit and uh, I select uh, first of all I select the uh, inner faces of this glass then top face, uh, then top face, and then the back side face of this glass. We need uh, three type of faces to make this uh, face flit. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, this is round flit, not face flit. Uh, face flit needs only uh, two type of faces. Just select all faces and uh, press OK. It automatically generates the flit, and we don't need radius for this flit. Uh, I need another uh, flit and uh, on this uh, line I need a, a flit of let's say 1 mm so go to flit and uh, just change it to uh, just change it to 1 mm this is a simple flit this is not a face flit or a round flit and uh, remember we are making a flit here so just select the edge and uh, press ok so uh, uh, 1mm flit is generated on this uh, face and uh, we are done with this modeling in uh, SOLIDWORKS so now I'll use uh, Keyshot plugin and I'll export uh, this model into Keyshot 9 Just go to tools and uh, go to Keyshot and send to Keyshot. Uh, 
Here Keyshot will take some time to open. Just cancel it and uh, just uh, use the tumble feature and uh, just uh, rotate it. Go to environment and I need a white background. Also, uh, mm, I'll apply material. So go to windows and uh, let's go to uh, windows. Uh, here uh, tabs are not showing. So I'll go to uh, windows and uh, I'll go to library and I'll go to materials. So uh, I'll apply some uh, glass text, uh, glass uh, material or a glass texture. Just go to glass and uh, I need uh, frosted glass. Uh, you can make your own and uh, I'll apply a couple of materials in uh, Keyshot. Just uh, rotating my model for a better rendered view. And uh, I think frosted is fine, but here I'm applying uh, so many materials. I think better to choose uh, frosted glass for this rendering. And uh, let's go to glass and uh, choose frosted glass. And now I'll go to render and uh, uh, just uh, check uh, shadows. I'll go to render and uh, first of all, I'll check it to uh, 1280 by 720. And uh, just checking my perspective. Now, I'll, uh, I think uh, it's better uh, not to apply any color or any texture or uh, changing environment. It's fine for this rendering. Now I'll go to render. And uh, uh, because I have uh, changed the uh, background, uh, so it has changed the resolution size. And now I have to change the uh, resolution again. Just cancel it, go to render again, uh, in fact, uh, go to uh, image again, and uh, I need to change it to 1280 by 720 again. And now I'll go to render, and uh, now uh, these are uh, these are changed. Uh, here I will use 256 sample, and I'll use uh, our uh, GPU cores, four cores. And now I'll go to render. So it will take some time to render. Uh, remember, we are using 256 samples. Uh, we are almost done with this rendering. And uh, it is taking its time. And uh, we are almost done with this rendering. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions regarding this tutorial, you can ask in. Uh, comment section, uh, just cancel it. Uh, you can save it, go to file and you can save uh, your uh, key shot file. Uh, if you have uh, any questions, any queries uh, related to this tutorial, you can ask in uh, comment section. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.